and Rachel and I actually, um, we went to the Gala College. I think we were around 13 when we went there. Yeah. Um, so we have the Gala College here and they do summer programs. Um, so we took our first step dancing lot. We're still doing some of the steps we learned in that first yeah. step dancing class. Yeah. But yeah, most fiddlers do a little bit of step dancing or um, there's, you know, then you have people like Darren that don't step dance, but play every single instrument created yeah. by God. <laughs> Everything but the fiddle. Exactly. <laughs> Stay away from that fiddle. That's ours. That's all we have. <laughs> okay, so my next question was, how did, it's an obvious one, how did the band get together? Oh, Darren's an expert at telling this story. <laughs> uh, well, um, it was 2010 and we were doing a we were doing a promotional tour for a festival um, so we all had solo careers and solo records and we'd all played the festival and they wanted to stick four or five uh, musicians in a in a camper van and head down to New England in the States and uh, you know talk about the festival stuff like that so we did that and uh, we had so much fun doing it that uh, we just kind of kept playing together whenever we could and it was, I think, a few years later, we were playing at the festival club, yeah. late night sort of thing. And um, somebody from the Shetland Folk Fest came over and said, we want to hire you for Shetland. And we said, well, we're not really a band. <laughs> and he said, well, get a band name because you're coming to Shetland. <gasps> and did you? And we did. We kind of said, well, maybe we should, uh, you know, stick together. And Yeah. So for the first year or so, or maybe even more, we didn't even have a band CD amazing we, we were playing in the states and we were playing over in shetland places like this and we didn't even then we said okay we got to go record a record yeah, this, yeah. And that's when it sort of solidified that we were gonna stick together and see what we could do and you've done extraordinarily well haven't you i've seen you've got a string of awards and all sorts you've played our moms are proud oh. <laughs> our moms think our that we're famous so we're, we're you happy are famous. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it looks like you've had such a good time. Um, so my, I was going to ask you about your Christmas album. That is a Darren and Rachel question. <laughs> they yeah. brought this upon us. <laughs> we kind of forced it onto everybody in the band because we are big lovers of Christmas music. Oh. Um, and Chrissy, I think, has warmed up to it a lot since we put I that. Am. Really, truly, we're not just saying this to sell CDs or tickets. I did grow to love Christmas music. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll just quickly tell you a little. It's a funny story, so I have to tell you. Yeah. Um, we would, we played in the states quite a bit. Uh, we still do. Yeah. And we were down in in like August and played all the venues that we normally play. And there was one that we could never line up, but we really wanted to play there. And they got a hold of us in October and said, "Would you come in December?" And I said, oh, this is kind of go cool, you know, we want to go there, but you need a few gigs to string together to make a tour. As you know, you can't just go down for one. So I got a hold of everybody that we normally play with, and they said, man, you were just here two months ago. There's oh. no and the very last guy that I spoke to uh, in Callis, Maine, he said, no, you couldn't come back that quickly unless it was, you know, December. Is it a holiday show? Is it a Christmas thing? <laughs> And we said, oh, of course it is, yeah. <laughs> and I thought I said that already, blah, blah, blah. So then next thing you know, we had a whole bunch of Christmas shows. Oh, it's the way to do it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it went so well and we recorded a Christmas CD and now we have two. Oh, Darren I already has the next eight mapped out too. So we'll be on like volume 10 by the time COVID's over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick it on at Christmas this year. Um, awesome. And it, well, yeah, it will remind me of these odd weeks we're in. 